Welcome to episode 1268 of Love Serve Care. Today's episode, I'm going to talk to you about the exhilaration and the agony of racing. I got my first opportunity to go go go-kart racing the other day. I was part of a chamber of commerce meeting locally and also a celebration for an entrepreneur program here in North Carolina. And as a mentor and you know myself and several mentors along with our mentees the folks who graduated from this program it's a celebration right it's a culmination of things and we were at a local go-kart racing place and it was axe throwing and things like that and i was gung-ho i signed up for the for the go-kart racing and when it was time we did the safety video and, and all that fun stuff and putting on the gear locking up stuff and I got in the go-kart, I'm like, all right, this feels good. I started messing with the pedals a little bit. I'm like, all right, green, go, red, stop. Pretty basic, right? Left foot, right foot. And we take off, and we're, and we're racing, right? It feels like Mario Kart, for sure. I was, like, feeling like Donkey Kong. I'm waving my hands in the air, even though they said keep both hands on the wheel. But I just got into the moment, got into the spirit of it, and I was, I was woo-hooing and all that. And making the turns, doing this, I'm like, all right, this is pretty cool. And probably somewhere around the third, maybe fourth turn, I started to, I don't want to say panic, but it was definitely feeling uncomfortable. I was thinking to myself, all right, when is this thing going to be over? <laughs> like, are we done yet? I've kind of got my fill. I've I've got the feeling of this. Like, I'm, I'm ready to go now. It's it's hot inside of the 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 establishment at least this part of it it smells like rubber so i'm starting to get a little bit queasy and it reminds me like being in a shoe store right just smelling all the leather it's like ugh. at least for me it's, i'm super sensitive that way and it was i wasn't feeling it and we're going around and around i'm having some challenges i'm i'm jolting i'm, I'm shaking here i'm making sharp turns here it was bit more difficult to, to navigate than I thought, especially as people are passing me by and I've got my competitive spirit cranking up and I'm trying to pass by people, a bump into a few, this and that. And the race finally ends. I wound up being like in eighth place out of 12 people. So, hey, I wasn't last. I'll take that all day, every day. And then they line us up. They they say, hey, we're going to do another race. I'm like, not not today, not with me. You know, my head's shaking a little bit. I'm a little bit nauseous. And I, I kind of gave it all on that one ride. And that was it. That was my level of commitment for, for that one race. All that to say is, whatever race you're in, you get to handle at your own pace. You get to ride that and give it your go as best you can. So remember that you're born to live your life in abundance. You're the master of your future. You control your freedom and you have complete dominance of your thoughts, your emotions, and your habits. Take care. God bless. Stay blessed.